Of course, carefully watching the developments in Singapore is South Korean President Moon Jae-in. Our chief China correspondent Moon Gun-young is live on the line for us to give us the latest reaction from the top office. Gun-young, what's the response from the liberal leader right now? Well, Daniel, uh, pretty much what he said as leader of the North Korean U.S. met in Singapore today, um, that he hardly got any sleep last night waiting for this day, I think that sums up how the South Korean president has been feeling in the days leading up to this day as he watched the North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and U.S. President Donald Trump make their first handshake and as they sign their agreements. Now, after the summit, the South Korean president, who's championed the summit and often acted as a mediator between his U.S. and North Korean counterparts, praised the two leaders' courage and resolve for taking a daring step towards change. Now, listen to his press secretary. The president said the June 12 Sentosa agreement will be recorded as a historic event that has helped break down the last remaining Cold War legacy on Earth. It is a great victory achieved by both the United States and the two Koreas and a huge step forward for people across the world who long for peace. So, Kanye, how will President Moon be working with his American counterpart from here on? Well, the final notice we got from the top office was that President Moon was speaking on the phone with the U.S. President Donald Trump as he received a call from Mr. Trump from Air Force One on his way back to Washington after wrapping up his summit in Singapore. We haven't learned the details uh, discussed between the two leaders yet, but we expect President Trump to have briefed the South Korean president on his summit meeting with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. We expect the two leaders to have had a chance to discuss in detail the specifics of the agreement signed between the two, as well as the next steps to be taken. Building upon the agreement reached today, we will take a new path going forward. We will write a new chapter of peace and cooperation. We will be there together with North Korea along the way. This is just the beginning and there may be many difficulties ahead, but we will never go back to the past again and never give up on this bold journey. And my administration will spare no effort in cooperating with the U.S., North Korea and the international community to ensure that the agreement can be implemented in its entirety. Now, we also know that President Moon is also expecting a visit by U.S. Secretary to Mike Pompeo the next few days, during which we know more discussions will be carried out. Daniel.